Hey there, YouTube land, and tonight we just finished watching, well, um, The Den. Yeah, The Den. It was a, uh, pretty much a uh, YouTube type of chat roulette type of horror movie, I guess. Yeah, chat roulette, illegal type horror yeah. movie. And, it was uh, a it was unique fan footage type. It was, it was, I'll, I gotta say, well, it's about a girl named Elizabeth, and basically she gets a uh, grant to, uh, to study like in a chat roulette type place called The Den. And uh, she's got to be on it like mostly 24-7 type thing, talking to different people and stuff. So one of her friends is over early on when she's doing it. And we, uh, and you see one, this girl's picture, like, you know when the, when you're on and like no picture comes up, but, well, no yeah. camera comes up, just like a picture. And it's got like, kind of like camera turned off. You kind of like when you're in a, in Skype or in one of these uh, YouTube uh, streaming sites or something like that like hangouts and you just see the picture. Well, uh, she sees like, she just sees a picture of this girl, this young, youngish girl. Nothing's and happening with her. So they turn her off. But the girl picture comes back again later on and pretty much tells her friend off, like, you know, calls her some pretty horrible stuff and the friend turns her off. Which ends up to be a bad thing because later on that person hacks into that girl's computer and uh, we get to find out that uh, this girl's being uh, being held, and later on we see her be be, be murdered. Yeah, you get to see uh, you find out that what's on the other outlet end of the person who didn't have a cam is uh, someone murdering someone. And, and it that's starts one good. Thing. Yeah, it starts really well. Um, it is really well done at the very beginning. The there are some good scares. Uh, a couple of jump spots. Uh, at the beginning, it's a fun little jump spot. Which was nice and probably would have made for a good premise itself. But, uh, oh, man. This movie was only 70 minutes long. Yeah. But it, without a doubt, overstayed its welcome. It went about 20 minutes too long. Mm -hmm. And I found out afterwards that it was actually based on a short. And I'm guessing, like, this is one of these concepts that works well in a short film. And when it's like, more explain more about it a little bit more. It, although it was still an okay watch, I gotta say the camera work was great. Yeah. Uh, the the acting is actually fairly good. But that uh, oh man, the lead was engaging. Yeah. Uh, <clears throat> everything was except pretty... for the explanation. And we're this, we're going in smaller territories there. Seventy minute movie you can watch it on Netflix. It doesn't really matter. Now here's the thing. Uh, it's actually really good. She gets stopped. Uh, her friends of hers get, like, basically out of her friend list. Because, you know, all these sites have, like, kind of, like, people you friend, like, your actual friends have friend lists. So the guy hacks her friend list and basically kills all her friends, uh, except for her uh, sister. Yeah. Uh, now, you get to see that. It's got kind of a cool stranger's ish type of mask on. And you, and it's pretty cool until he gets to kill it, to uh, go to her sister. And that's when well, Matt realized the first somebody's holding the camera. So there's more than one person there. Yeah. And that I, could have totally worked. Having two people would have made sense. Yeah, even, you know, we didn't even need the explanation of who it was. It was just because something kind of creepy. It could have been strange this. It was obvious how this was going to end. Unfortunately. Like, from the beginning. Yeah, but we didn't want it to go in the way that it went. No. We knew that it was going to end, like, the exact ending, because you can pretty much guess early on how what kind of ending this is going to have. It's a horror movie, and you Yeah, it's another know, one... Movies like horror films, that, like specifically the ones that like look like or are based after shows, almost exclusively end. And this one in here, what you think? The and there's the, here's where it goes wrong. It goes in hostile territory. Yeah, twenty minutes of hostile territory uh, could have ended. It's utterly ridiculous. I mean, earlier the movie's on. going fantastic. We have a really cool, interesting killer. <clears throat> He's stalking in really cool ways, but that's He's not good enough. With her in different ways instead, that are really cool. instead of that. We get like at the end we find out that there's not one killer, it's not two killers. It's like an entire whole shitload of them. And they're at the special base, and they're all yeah, in it's, special oh, separate it's rooms. It's very much a hostile type of thing, right yeah. at the end. And we find out that it's all based, all of this because it's on a website where people watch snuff. And uh, remember it, when we did the VHS review? The first VHS, yeah. The VHS review, and specifically the second one, where it talks about where it's like, wow, this is an interesting like underground subculture. That's an interesting way to do that idea. This was not. 
I this know. was just intrusive. This was interesting until the last 20 minutes. No, last I know. That's what I mean. You mean it Adding in the hostile stuff was just intrusive to the story, and it didn't add anything. The hostile series, I'll be honest, I thought the hostile series was crap. I didn't like it either. Uh, I thought it was pandering, it was torture porn of the worst kind. I, Whenever anybody like compares Saw to Hostile, I get insulted because actually... Saw so has a storyline. Saw so actually had a storyline. Hostile is just crap. Uh, I really hate it. <clears throat> I hate movies that are just exploited with big I hated a Serbian film. A Serbian film was, was just a disgusting film that was pretending to be a politically active film, and it yeah. wasn't. Uh, unfortunately, it, stu it cut some people that into the web that actually went and watched it and thought it was more than it was. And I'm sorry about that, yeah. but it really yeah. wasn't. Uh, and this thing here actually tries, and it really does try right up to the end, and it gives up, and it goes into like the territory that it's you really obvious. don't care it's about. It's too obvious, and it's not it's not appreciated in what was a cool serial killer stalking. It movie. starts at when when you see like set six or seven of them come around. I mean, it's just ridiculous. And like one of them, I think, is like a kid. It appears to be, and it's know. just stupid. At the end, of it's really stupid. It the movie like, starts so. How can a movie with so much promise, such good acting, such great camera work, and such a great premise when it starts out? end up with something like this because this is such a shame yeah. for a movie that was so 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 good starting out some great jump scares and some yeah. decent acting and a really cool killer a, a awesome mask great premise oh, uh, yeah. some fantastic work uh, behind just the camera ending, really. but the end the last 20 minutes just kills totally it. kills it for you it's not it is I can't I don't know if I want to it's not worth a watch really no if you it was fun to watch the first time, but I don't say for anyone else recommending it, it's worth a watch. I'll never rewatch the film. Never. I wish that they'd done better because this could have been such a great film and could have been a, a cool little cult hit. Yeah. And now, it, it, but it wasted the premise. It wasted yeah. its chance. I hope the actor is going to do better. I hope the uh, director realizes that he made a mistake with the ending and realizes that, you know, this could have been a much better film. But uh, as, as it is, the den is... Uh, is a no-go, and unfortunately, a movie that has show, starts with a lot of premise, has a few really cool jump scares. I did j get a couple jumps yeah. in there. Uh, at the end of it, falls completely apart. Even if you're a fan of the House of the Movies, I don't think you're going to find anything to that you want to watch in this, and it's going to be pretty much uh, a, waste of, uh, a waste of space. Yeah. But uh, we just saved it 76 minutes, so uh, go out and watch a good movie. I don't know, watch a... Uh, here, watch Funny Games or something like that. That's a, actually not a bad movie. Sorority Row. I don't. Uh, that's not a great movie, but you know, that's what's this? Ninety minutes. Watch that instead. Yeah, Sorority Row. But something don't, fun. But don't, something yeah. not just awful. Don't waste your time with the, with the Dan. And if you must, let us know what you think. Maybe you liked the Dan. Maybe uh, because you know I really wanted to come on here and say some good stuff about it. And I hope that I have, because they did seem to work really well at the beginning. Uh, but at the end, it was, it was junk. And uh, that's pretty much it. Thanks for watching. For me right now, it's time for tea, and I want to wash that movie off, because I just feel dirty after watching it. That's true. Aaron wants to chat.